Hey, hey, Jeremy here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to design a business card in Adobe Illustrator. Let's jump in. So I'm in Illustrator and I've downloaded these guidelines from MooPrint. So if you go to their website, moo.com, and you can see if you just type in business card design guidelines on Google, it should pop up as well. So if you scroll down here, you can see you've got the Moo Square, Moo Mini, and also the Moo Standard Size. And if you go to the right-hand side, you can download a template. They've got InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator right there. So you click that, download it, and open it, and you should get these guidelines here. They have the bleed area. So basically the um, printer will cut um, on these lines here. So the bleed is sort of the excess on the edges. And you can see the trim here, um, which is the line there. And the safe area is within this dashed line. So you wanna keep any text and important information within the safe area. So I'm just gonna to go to my layers panel and I'm just going to double click on this layer. And usually you can dim the image to like 20% and it should, it should dim the layer. If it doesn't do that, you can just turn the layer off and just turn it back on when you need to um, as well. I'm just gonna turn it off and start to work on my business card. So um, I've got all my elements here. I'm just gonna bring that to the top layer and I'm gonna to start to use these for my business card. So whenever it comes to a business card, you can play around, you know, with the logo on the back or play with typography or the layout. It's all about, you know, being creative and experimentative. Put some color on here and I'm gonna go for a nice gray color. So let's see what we can create here. Maybe just like a subtle gray like that. I think that's really cool. I'm gonna lock that. I'm gonna drag, hold Alt and Shift. I'm just gonna bring this type over here. So this is the logo. It's an architect company. I just made it up real quick. And we're just gonna quickly play around and see what we can create. And one of the cool ways I, I can make it interesting is I can do guidelines. So you can see I like to add some guides. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find a nice font. So for me, let's see if we can find a nice font. Um, we wanna keep it really chill and simple. I'm gonna go with connect. I like connect bold. It's very like a clean font. So you can see. Alrighty, let's scale this up. Place this in the corner. Maybe we'll go not pin. So I'm just gonna go here and just place based on what I feel the hierarchy is and I'll use my smart guides to place the text. Try and keep things pretty pretty simple. I'm just gonna change the font of this. Go to connect and we'll go sort of medium or even, um, yeah, I think medium is fine. And then we'll right align this. Okay, to the smart guide, so this is lined up. And Arthur Street, let's paste it like that. So we've got sort of this balance going on. We could also probably do it like this as well. Um, left aligned, so we have two stuff like that, or we can have it on the right side as we had it before. It just depends like what we wanna do. Do you wanna make it interesting or simple? Okay, so we've got that. And then for this logo, we're just gonna sort of scale it up. I'm just gonna place it like that. And maybe it could be like an embossed logo or something, whatever it is. And I'm just gonna press um, object and go to transform. And we wanna um, go transform each. And then what we wanna do is we just basically want to move it. So I'm gonna basically move it like this. I should have calculated exactly how much uh, the bottom part was, but I'm just going to press copy. And so I just want to see where this is cut off. So um, we sort of get the bottom of that, the S there. So another trick I could do is do it like this. So I know, okay, that's the gap. So... And then I can do it this way as well. 
So I could have just duplicated the S and just figured it out. But anyway, you can use the move tool and calculate exactly if you know what you're doing. And then I can just cut off the edges there. So now we've sort of got this. Maybe if I want to put it on the edge, I don't know how we want to do it. I'll bring it a little bit in there. And obviously it's going to get a bit cut off from the bleed, but that's fine. We just want the shape just to make it like look interesting. And then maybe just copy like the name. Maybe we can line it up like that. I don't know, something like this. Shift. Maybe we have the name again on this side. Managing director. If I could bring it to the bottom there or something. So the whole idea is all about shifting space. And because it's like an architect firm, you know, we want to make things like shift and feel like it's dynamic and there's movement. You know, and you can keep business cards really simple. Like if I wanted to add maybe a little line here, I can add a stroke or I can add just, you know, rectangle or whatever, how you want to do it. And we make it really thin, you know, like that. And, you know, maybe you want to put it on the other side, but I just add some weight. It adds some weight to the edges. I'm also going to bring this down to the guidelines. So remember we have the guidelines there so you can see it's directly specifically on the guideline it's within that so i can turn that off and i just want to check everything else yeah it looks pretty fine cool so it's pretty simple pretty easy now i'm just going to move this down a bit like that i think that's cool so what you want to do now is obviously it's on cmyk you can go file Make sure the color mode is on CMYK. Then what I'll do is I'll select everything, go to um, typography and go create outlines. This will make sure that the type is not editable anymore. So you can't edit it. Okay. The shapes are vectors. Everything's a vector. So that's fine. Then usually what I'll do is I'll press control Alt S go to PDF. And then I'm just going to go to my downloads folder and then you can say shifter BS underscore card. Then maybe put the date on it, okay, and then we can save it as or, press save. And now what you want to do is, I've got a preset here for printing, but usually there's a default one that says, um, you know, press quality or high quality print. So if you can click that, so um, we want to preserve the illustrator editing capability. So if the printer person takes it, and then also if you've got these things here, um, if you want the highest, highest quality, you don't want to downsample, but this should be fine. 300 DPI is as well, that's important. Um, you can, you know, the bleed marks, um, you can set that, but the printer tells you how much to do it and click save. And then now it should be pretty sweet. And the easy thing is when you use a template, you know, it's easy to, for the printer to understand what you've done and, um, figure it out. We can tick use document bleed settings and then we can click save PDF. And it should save it. And then now if I go to downloads, there we have it. We've got our multi-card PDF there, um, you know, ready to go. And obviously you can save, um, if, the, if you need to do all the trim marks and stuff, then you can do that. So that's how you design a business card in Adobe Illustrator. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. And um, if you get into like things like foil stamping and printing and all that, depending on the printer, um, it gets more, more complex. You have to save it on different layers, certain items and stuff. But this is basically a simple way of just designing a um, business card and then you could send it to them and then they'll get them printed. Um, but yeah, they're not sponsoring this video. I just new print is uh, just really good. I've used them before. So thanks so much for watching. Smash that like button. 
if you enjoy these design tutorials and remember to subscribe for more design content every week. Catch you in the next video.